Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new WWE Supercard video, episode 142. Um, this is going to be over a couple parts of this video. Um, I will do the first part now and then we'll, there'll be about three or four hours in between. Uh, actually, no, six hours precisely. Um, I'm just here to pro my Bailey. Um, it actually hasn't taken me much time at all. Normally I um, finish the event and it does take me about a week to pro the card. It's only taken me like a day. I really um, have gone kind of ham today, tried to finish proing my um, Randy Orton, which I have, and I will show you that. Um, but we are going to pro the Bailey. She is completely done. Um, level 50 on both cards, also confused. So we can go ahead and pro her right now. My first Season 3 WrestleMania 33 event card. Female event card. Bailey. Pretty awesome. Um, stats are going to be amazing once she is fully leveled up. And we'll get her into a King of the Ring. Uh, wait, there she is. So we need to get her into a King of the Ring, and we also got Bobby Roode and Randy Orton to put into it, which means we should be able to actually win this King of the Ring, which will be really cool. So swap that out um, with Bailey. I think that's pretty good. Um, I think we'll get with that. I think we're going to go with that. Bailey in the female solo. The tag team is actually sandbagged. Um, the female tag is sandbagged. Then we are also sandbagging Bobby Roode and. Randy Orton, so that's a, that is that is three sandbags plus a sandbag tag. If we don't win this King of the Ring, I will be shocked. Um, do we have enough fusion food? I think I'll be okay because I've actually a couple Ultimate Pros um, that I still have locked um, in my catalog. Well, not in my catalog, my cards um, that I don't need anymore. So I can potentially use those to feed up these three cards, and we should be okay. So we're gonna go and start a King of the Ring. <clears throat> just going to make sure really quickly that we're all good, hard, yeah. So that's what we're going to go, start King of the Ring, yes, please. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a couple of hours for some team ring domination. It is for Finn Balor, um, which is a single. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you guys in six hours. Welcome back, guys, to episode 142. I'm currently right now in the middle of playing some team ring domination. Um, I'll play a couple games as well in this video for you guys. Uh, two shards left on this Finn Balor. That's pretty exciting. We are going to get it um, right well now. Um, this one once I play the bouts. But we're going to wait for those bouts really quickly. King of the Ring news and update. I'm 6-3 and three in it. Uh, I actually beat uh, well someone who was top seed, which was Baz. 4-1. Uh, he wasn't energized at all, so that's probably why I got the win. But let's say he was fully energized. I would have lost this game because uh, it's power, obviously. Um, power and speed. He procs in power and charisma. Um, would it have been enough with the pro? No, it wouldn't because no. So that would have been too. He would have been two nil up. Um, he would have won that as well. Uh, Fifty fifty because I have no idea who that is. And I would have won this. Uh, so yeah, interesting. Um, it, you know, it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be close. I think this King of the Ring. It's gonna be interesting. Um, so yeah, he is actually the top seed. So I think, I think we've got a good shot in this King of the Ring to make it to the final. And hopefully, get another WrestleMania card. Um, something else that gives us WrestleMania cards as well is Battleground, and we have started a new one. This is our third Battleground. And um, I'm going to show you who we uh, got paired up against. It is a ultimate team. Um, so that's not bad. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting one. I will show you what the cards I got and all of that. I was streaming it as well before. So um, some of you guys will probably know already. We're just waiting on the network. But it seems like it's taking forever. I've been playing Supercard for about two hours now. Um, just while watching Raw and stuff. This is the first waiting on the network I've gotten, and it's obviously now that I'm in the middle of making a video, but there we go. Battleground. So this is it. I have got Rich Swan is the only WrestleMania I've got. I've got a Randy Orton Ultimate, two Elites, and two Hardens. So very mediocre. Um, this is my team right now. Um, the best deck is uh, Fatboy with the three WrestleMania cards, which is great. He's already got two of them maxed, so that is good. Um, 
who who has yet to I know Flame's got a lot of charges, he always waits to just charge up all at once pretty much. So Visa Date, Super JT and Ole are the only ones for now who I don't know if they've got any charges. But my opponent, our opponents, the ten horsemen, um, with this top guy with 117, which is the highest I've seen so far. Um, but yeah, 116 compared to our best, which is 114. So it's going to be very interesting on that. But just overall, I think we have a slight advantage uh, on the fact that we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got five people over 100 points. Um, so we're on 99 as well. So uh, that's not bad. That really isn't bad. As you can see, they've only got four people over 100. Um, so yeah, it will, you know, I'll bring you guys along through the attack phase as usual. But let's get into a bit of team event and um, let's get some. Let's get well. There's only two shards left. So uh, yeah, let's try and finish it off right now. Uh, we will spend. Uh, I'm not gonna spend any credits actually. We will watch an ad. Um, which is which one is it going to give me? The Clash Royale one. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to sit through this ad. Normally, I don't do this while I'm watching a video, um, while I'm recording a video, because I don't want you guys to have to sit through an ad. But um, it's not too long. It's doable, and the um, the the ad most of the time just freezes and doesn't show much. But it is still counting down, as you can see at the bottom: five, four, three, two, and one. So if we get extremely lucky, we could finish this Fimbala on this next bout. We'll see. We'll see if we can or not. Uh, come on, Superguard. Can you not do this? Take forever. There we go. Bout. Let's get into a game. Uh, not using many uh, title matches either, because I'm just like, look, I can. I've got a bit of spare time. Um, I can, you know, I can grind it out. I don't need to keep using that many credits and try and save the credits for the solo events which uh, will help me out more you know down the down the road so yeah uh, let's see let's try and finish it as quick as possible without having to play any extra games let's get that Dean Ambrose in there uh, we'll go there with Matt Hardy and we'll use Brock up here no games played and it's a win I'll take that any day of the week Again, social outcasts, 5-4, let's get our picks. I'm not sure how, where the board's, ah, oh, the board is completely reset, what a shame. Okay, so, probably won't get a shard, two Seamuses, and Alex Riley, and, ah, at least we get a charge, I was about to say, not even one charge, it's not, hey, we got Finn Balor, someone must have played, um, let's claim it, there we go, oh, there's another WrestleMania, 33 card, Finn Bala. That is pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome indeed. So, Team Shard Breakdown. I am number one with 24 shards. Um, Faboy, as usual, always around the top in team events. So, good job. D2 on 13. Nick on 13. Good job. Sarah, Super JT, Oli, The Beast, Flame, Visa H. Everyone, good job. We are going to get the ultimate. If you guys want to know what the ultimate is, I will tell you. Spoiler alert if you don't want to know, but... There's not really a spoiler alert, I mean, it's not really, doesn't matter if you guys know or not. It is Seamus, it is Seamus. The ultimate is Seamus, the elite is Titus O'Neil. And that's as far as I know. But yeah, I've got more things to show you guys, and it's been really, really weird. Okay, so let me quickly explain. Yesterday, um, out of nowhere, I was just, gr I grinded a lot yesterday, and I pulled a Baron Corbin, um, which is a single, and I already had a pro Baron Corbin, so I was really upset with that. And then... Today, I pulled another Baron Corbin, so that is a pro, actually, and it's the second pro, so I'm not sure if I will pro it, um, like, get all my games played. I might level both of them up to 50 and just pro, because uh, it will, f you know, fit in my RTG deck, but um, it's not really worth getting all the games played on it, because it's not a great card, it's quite low down in the tier, and I've, I've already got one, and it's not like it's going to help me out that much in my, RT in my RTG deck, because I'm missing four um, four WrestleMania uh, pros, so and it's just OCD wise. I just don't, that Baron Corbin's not really going to stay there for long. So I might, I might just uh, level both of them fifty and then combine them, pro them. It would be technically a perfect pro, but it could obviously be better. That's pretty much all I've got to show you for now, guys. Um, which is the fact that I put a Baron Corbin. So that's two WrestleMania pulls in two days for me. Not too bad. Um, Finn Balor has been achieved. 
which is cool. We are going to drop our decks down and we are going to start the Seamus. 19 hours left to get Seamus, not bad. Uh, Battleground as well, what I'm going to do is, I've got 67, so let's just go ahead and just get these on as quick as possible. Um, so yeah, I'm currently watching Raw, uh, it's about to start the main event, uh, which is Dean Ambrose versus Bray Wyatt. It's been, it's been a mediocre episode of Raw so far, crowd has been great, like, love, love the England crowds, so much better than, so much better than those shit crowds sometimes that you guys have. In America, I'm not not bashing on the on, on any people, you know. Just well, I am kind of, but some crowds are just really really shit, you know. Um, but yeah, whatever. Uh, it's been it's been okay so far. Not not the not the best episode of Raw. I think last week tops it a little bit. Um, but interesting. It's interesting that you know Dean Ambrose, Miz are co in charge. It's it's definitely special. I'm guessing Kurt Angle couldn't make it to the UK for uh, for Raw, which is understandable, I suppose. You know, he's probably a busy man. There we go. That is pretty much all I can do for now, which puts me nowhere near the top, actually. Well, uh, as you can see, Fat Boy, who's only on 40 charges, uh, and I'm on 67, and not even uh, I'm not even close. So yeah, that is what it's looking like for now. Of course, I'll get more and uh, more charges done. Um, over the next couple, uh, well, it's 5 a.m., probably going to go to sleep soon. But after tomorrow, all of that, more charges. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, do drop a like on it. Uh, Pro Bailey is finally in my deck now. Um, there you guys see my ranked deck, which is up to date with my best cards possible in there. And it's looking really, really good. Uh, final little update, let me show you guys my ring dom. That's how ring dom's looking. So it is now full WrestleMania Pro. Um, James Ellsworth doesn't even get into it anymore, but I will be probably swapping out um, one of these, probably Braun, or no, probably Bobby Roode actually, um, to get that James Ellsworth in there because he is obviously a left arrow and I don't have any left arrows except from Jeff. So that's probably what we'll do. But apart from that, really happy with that full WrestleMania deck there. And as you can see, I've still got um, seven uh, ultimate cards here. Five of those are event cards, two of those are just normals, which hopefully we'll be able to replace soon. We just need to get some more divas. Thank you for watching anyway, guys. Do drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new one. Until then, take care, most importantly. Peace out.